Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now today we're going to go over how to make dominoes and collapsible buildings in Blender. Now to begin this tutorial, a little advertisement like always, you can always go to form.nistic.com to uh, view the latest tutorials, ask any questions you might have about Blender or just to post your renders. Um, also, recently I have started uh, Blender, t this little Blender tutorial link where I have all the uh, tutorials, same tutorials that are on YouTube at a much higher quality uh, than on YouTube. And also, under the Blender 3D category, uh, you can also click here on the subform for user tutorials so you can get some more uh, little tutorials to help you out. So let's go ahead and get started on our uh, little domino project here. So I have Blender opened up and today we're not going to use the default cube so X, reselected selected objects and then we're going to hit space, add, mesh, plane and we're going to hit the S key and hit 5, make it 5 times bigger. Left click, we want to go into object mode tab, then we're going to hit space, and we're going to add mesh, and we're going to add a cube, go into object mode with tab, then we're going to make him a bit thinner, uh, just hit S and X, we're scaling on the X axis, okay, and then we're going to rotate with Alt, Shift, and then Y, the Y axis. I mean, not Shift, Size, and then Y. And we're going to go to a front view. Hit the Z key. Now, Z key is wireframe mode, and it only shows you basically like those edges uh, to the objects. So we want to go there in uh, that mode because we can see the little plane here. If we weren't in it, it would just kind of be invisible we're, when we're in wireframe mode. It makes it a little easier to see with that line. So I selected the little domino block, hit G, and it's going to move it over to the edge here. Now we want it close to the plane. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so you have a little domino kind of looking thing here in our plane. And we're going to go down to the Actors button. Actor, Dynamic, dynamic Rigid Body, Bounds, and Box. And go to Front View. I'm going to show you some things. So we have our domino here. Just sitting there. If I hit the P key, then it's going to go into the Game Engine mode. Nothing's going to happen. You can hit up escape to get out of that. Uh, but watch what happens when I uh, rotate the block a little bit. With the R key, hit P, falls over. So I'm going to hit undo with control Z. And what you can do, you can just duplicate these over and over. The shift D, remember and make a bunch of dominoes basically and you can actually texture uh, these later if you want to so hit the R key rotate that a bit and you have all the dominoes lined up I'll zoom out so you can see all the dominoes lined up hit the P key and they all just fall over like that I'll give you a little different view P key fall over simple as that you can go you can get out of wireframe mode so you can see the lighting and faces and all that so I mean you can have a little fun with that you can make a really little uh, cool domino animation and let's take this look a bit further um, you, this is not just limited to dominoes I can select one of these pieces here hit shift D rotate it hit 90 for rotating 90 degrees second on top and kinda make a little building there I'm going to go back into wireframe mode. So I can just kind of duplicate these and just kind of treat them like uh, regular dominoes, kind of. 
And see, oh, there it goes. It falls over. So, I mean, you can make that uh, really tall or or whatever. You can make, like, a wall of uh, little dominoes or whatever. And you could throw a ball through it, just make little buildings. I mean, you can really have um, lots of fun with this. And the great thing about this, instead of real dominoes, is that you can't accidentally knock them over. And you can do the same thing over and over again. And so, let's say you wanted to render this. Um, you can go to, whoopsies, camera. But it's a little too close in, so we're going to go over and pull the camera back from our area here. I'm going to go to View Camera. Move this up a bit. Now, if I render this, you can see everything here, but it doesn't record the animation if I was to advance a few frames down here. So, what you can do is go up here to Game, Record Game Physics to IPO, and then when you hit the P key, and let everything just kind of fall and do its stuff, it'll take a little bit longer to actually process. Hit Escape key to just get out of that. Now, when I move far forward in my time frame, it's actually moving. I'll use my arrow keys so that you can see what's happening. So I'm on frame 100 right now, and everything's just falling over. And so let's say, hit F12 to render that. You can see how it's all half uh, fallen over. And so, I mean, you can have a lot of fun with uh the Blender game engine and physics engine. I mean, it's really fun to just kind of play with. Uh, make dominoes, fall over, make little buildings. Uh, you can be just kind of destructive with it and have fun with it. So, that's really it for this tutorial. Just teaching you the basics. Um, just some more basics about the Blender game engine and what you can do with it and what you accomplish. So, um, have fun with it. Maybe make a little domino animation, and I'd love to see it on Nistic. So, if uh, you make your little domino animation or collapsing building, uh, don't forget to post it on form.nistic.com. Well, okay, uh, that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. So, that's it for now. Bye.